So next, I want to talk about uh, the devices. I can put the devices in here on the bottom. And this is pretty cool. Now you can see here, if I go over, you can see here that what I've got in my macro uh, knobs here are actually reflected right here across the bottom. So I can change things like the pitch. It's pretty cool. Or whatever. I can just kind of make any kind of adjustments that I want to make to my sounds uh, set up in the macro. Now if I want to go in and edit more than that, I can hit FX32 and it will show me more. So for example, if I go into my uh, devices menu here, I can choose what I want to play with. And uh, let's go ahead and play with the auto filter here. So now you can see I've got everything for my auto filter. So I can change my frequency. Let me just solo that track out. Put some resonance on it. Pretty cool stuff. If I want to mess with my uh, envelope, I can set that up. I can set up LFO amount as well. Different frequency or sync rates. Whatever I really want to set up on here, I can kind of uh, do that. So if I want to edit a different device, I can just uh, click on my devices and bring them down into the bottom down here. And now I can see here, okay, let's play with the auto filter on this uh, Omnisphere uh, keyboard patch. And this is pretty cool. I've already got it set up. I can uh, go in here to my frequency and set things up a little bit differently. And I can go in and change my modulation, really whatever I want to do. All sorts of stuff I've got here to play with. Basically everything that's on the screen. You can see it's actually, if you look at the computer screen, you can see that it's moving right in time to my movements on the iPad. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's work on programming in a new clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up so I've got my keys on the bottom. Now, the keys, I'm going to turn on my record arm for my bass sound. And I can play I can play notes on my bass but let's say I want to add some velocity and this is a really cool feature about uh, touchable with this I've got my minimum velocity which means that my <clears throat> keys are gonna have they're gonna be velocity sensitive so let me just solo this out real quick and you can hear it if I touch the top of the key it's actually gonna be quieter if I bring my finger down it's louder and it also changes color to reflect that. It's pretty cool stuff right there. I really like the uh, setup of this. And it's also kind of neat. It's a new way of programming sounds into Ableton Live. So you can actually get a cool feel out of it by just hitting different places on the pad. So what I'm going to do now is actually record a bit of this uh, little bass line. I'm going to hit play. Let it play through once. And I'm going to go ahead and play it here. Now you can see that I was able to get everything playing right along. And because I've got the record quantize turned on, it's just going to lock it right in. And because I've got my clips up here on the top, I can actually just uh, play with them as I would normally, but pretty much hands-free. I don't have to touch the computer to really mess with things, which I really like a lot. Now let's say I want to mix this real quick. I just turn my mixer on the bottom, and I can mix things, bring this down a little bit, maybe bring this down a little bit. Whatever I really want to do here, I'll go in here and play with my toggles a little bit, I can solo things out. Alright, so the last thing I want to show you is kind of like the keys, but it's with the pads. The pads are pretty cool on here. Let me go over here and record on my uh, drums, my 808 kit, and so now what I'm going to do is, you can see here on the right hand side, I've got all my different pads and the drum racks set up here. And then on the left, it shows me what key numbers they are. 
And then just like with the keys, I've got my global velocity and my minimum velocity, and I can set my minimum velocity so where I hit the pad makes it louder or softer. Top is louder, bottom is softer. Pretty sweet stuff. Now, I'm gonna record over this 808 a little bit. I'm gonna just kind of uh, overdub onto it, so I'm gonna hit play. got a nice little snare part in there. It's pretty cool stuff and you can see I pretty much haven't touched the computer at all. Now one thing about that is you do have to set up your instruments ahead of time. It's something that Ableton Live can't really do is allow something else to bring instruments in. So you do have to touch your computer to bring instruments in. But after you've done that, after you've got your uh, instruments set up, you can pretty much do everything else you want right here in uh, Touchable. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you have a lot of fun with Touchable using it. Uh, I've had a lot of fun playing with it, and I've had a lot of fun uh, showing you this uh, how to use it. If you have any questions, hit us up here in the comments and the videos. And uh, make sure you keep coming back to DubSpot uh, for all your Ableton Live needs and all your iPad Touch needs. This is Tony Grun signing off.